Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today I'm going to tell you my top five worst fragrance ever. So usually fragrance are made to smell good. It's pretty much the whole point. But sometimes looks like they kind of missed it. Sometimes they are also smelling good, but other stuff makes it really disappointing. So this is why I'm gonna tell you my top five fragrances that I think they are the worst, either because they smell bad and I don't have a clue how they decided to sell it or because of other reason. And I'm gonna say what's the other reason if there are some other. So before I start, I'm gonna go with two honorable mention. And the first one is actually one of my fragrance, which is 2020. It was made in the honor of 2020 which was a bad year for everyone. So I decided to make bad fragrance. There's only seven of them and that will ever be made. If you're ever interested in having a fragrance that smells bad, well, I've got this one. And my other honorable mention, it's Secrétion Magnifique by Etat Libre d'Orange. And I've never smelled best fragrance, but it is known as the worst smelling fragrance. I'm not quite interested to buy it because it's expensive, but I'm, I'd like to try it anyway to know if it's really bad or not. Anyway, we're gonna go with the top five or bottom five, something like that. So number five will not be as bad as the other. It's just that I, I needed five. So even before one other in the list, but um, it's actually kind of good. It's just not super nice. And it's Dylan Blue by Versace. And before you think it's not gonna just be popular stuff, there's other things that I'm gonna put in the, the top five. But Dylan Blue, what I don't like about it, it's not that it smells bad. Actually, it smells good. It smells a little bit like Aqua Atlantic, but with a grapefruit note instead of the lemon in the opening. And Aqua Atlantic is a fragrance that I love. So Dylan Blue smells nice. And then it turns into a fragrance that smells a lot like Dior Sauvage. And Sauvage, it's a nice fragrance that many people like. So why is it a bad fragrance? And why it's number five? It's that I feel it's kind of weird. It feels like kind of a Frankenstein fragrance. Like it starts as an aquatic, bright and casual fragrance that turn into some kind of mess appealing work fragrance. I feel the opening and the dry down, they don't match together at all. And this is why it's number five. You might enjoy this fragrance. And if you do, that's great. It's just my personal preference and how I feel that that fragrance is made. It's not a bad fragrance or anything. It's just from the style of fragrance I like. If I were aquatic, I want it to stay aquatic. I want something that's mess appealing. I want something that stays mess appealing, not that kind of do half and half. Number two, it's Sauvage Eau de Parfum by Dior. And this one, also it's a fragrance that a lot of people love. They think it smells great. And why it's there, it's because I find the smell is boring. I don't think it smells bad. And people that would wear it, it's nice and easy fragrance to wear. If you're going to work or something like that, you're just gonna smell good and that's all right. But the thing is that there's a lot of fragrance that will do this just smelling good. And though it has its own path of how it does this, what I don't like about it is that the old platform specifically, it doesn't last long at all. And I don't mind that a fragrance don't last long if it's an interesting fragrance. If you smell it extremely unique, extremely like beautiful, it tells a story when you smell it, it it's all right. I don't care if it smells only two hours, if it's really amazing. But as I said, I feel it's boring. So yeah, it might be a good thing that it doesn't last long, but it's the kind of fragrance that you wear because you need to wear something and not don't want to think about it but then it makes it something that you have to think about it because it don't smell long enough. So I don't think it's really such a good fragrance because of this. And another reason I think that Sauvage is extremely overpriced for what it is. You know, it's a clean, nice smelling fragrance. I, I wouldn't call it basic, but you know, just 
something to smell good, maybe get some compliment and not like shock people or anything, just some nice, messy peeling fragrance. And you can have so many of those kind of fragrance for way cheaper what this one is. If you just look like in cheapy fragrance, there's so many fragrance that will be better. So yeah, basically I think the style, longevity, the price, everything doesn't match together. If it will be cheaper, wouldn't be on the list. If it will smell more interesting, would be on the list. It will smell the whole day, wouldn't be on the list. But all together, those little things that are not such a big deal, all together makes it a big deal. And this is why it's number four. And I don't think it deserves to be more than number four. It's already a lot. So number three is one of those really known and really loved fragrance, but this one is on a whole other level on how bad it is. And it's one million and the original one million. They're nice. Some of them are great. Some of them are boring, but the original one, it smells bad. It doesn't smell like, oh, boring or anything. It actually smells bad. I don't have a clue how people can wear it and enjoy it. For me, it doesn't even make sense that they decided to make that fragrance and sell it. There's no other bad point. I mean, the bottle, some would say it's tacky. Personally, I think it kind of looks nice. It's sure it's not like an art piece or anything, but it looks nice. You get compliments, I have a lot of good thing, but I, I don't like it. I think it smells bad. There's nothing more to explain about this one. So we're gonna go in number two and number two is actually the only fragrance on the list I have full bottle of. I actually have a sample of Sauvage and a little 5ml bottle of Dylan Blue and no bottle of 1 million or samples or anything. And the fragrance is Fantafab by Just Jack. This fragrance, horrible. Not as horrible as the number one, but it's horrible. So if you don't know about this fragrance, it's actually a clone of Fucking Fabulous by Tom Ford. And maybe the video will be 18 plus because of what I said. But anyway, it would be a good clone if it wouldn't be of the almond note. The almond note in there is horrible. It smells extremely synthetic and even chemically. It doesn't smell like cheap synthetic stuff. It smells like things you wouldn't put in a perfume, like a chemical product or something like paint thinner. I don't know exactly, but maybe not like paint thinner, but just for you to have the idea. It smells extremely bad, that note. Good thing is that most of the fragrance isn't that note. I would consider that note to be a rotten almond, the, the best way to describe it. But the thing is, it's a leather fragrance, so the leather kind of goes over it, but it's still there, kind of hidden underneath the surface, which is bad, it's not nice. And the reason I still have the fragrance is because I try to sell it and no one bought it. And the number one fragrance of the list, which actually I saw people say it's great fragrance, it's Craze by Arma. And if you don't know Arma and Just Jack, they actually have the same parent company that is called Sterling perfume, something like that. So they have the same owner, they just have different face of the fragrance to get different market. And this fragrance, it has the same aroma chemical that create the almond note than in Pentafab, but it's not a clone of a leathery, I mean, with a bit of almond fragrance, it's a clone of a pure almond blast fragrance. So it's not that kind of underneath tone of almond, it's huge blast of that nasty chemical rotten almond. I had to wear it a couple times to uh, do the review because I did the review of this video. I didn't enjoy it at all. It was really bad. I actually gave that bottle. It was so bad that I didn't want to sell it, but I gave it away to someone that collect fragrance and that actually collect them for the bottle himself. It wasn't such a bad thing. He said that he likes it. I know some people enjoy it. They don't smell that little chemical -y thing. I think there's a lot of the DNA like of the person, how we smell things. I know there's people that say that jasmine smells like pee and stuff like that. That wood smells fecal. I hear things like this and for me, jasmine smells like kind of sweet, almost banana-like smell and wood smells like standard woody note. 
for me. So I just I would assume that it's my DNA that makes me smell this molecule differently. I have no other explanation. And Craze, it's a clone of Pegasus by Parfum de Marly. And the reason I bought Craze was because I have a little sample of Pegasus and I think it smells absolutely amazing. It's one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled in my life. So it was like, it's expensive, I'm gonna try to get a clone. It was a bad deal. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you have any fragrance that you think that are extremely horrible that you want to share about it, go in the comment. I'd be really happy to hear from you. And if there's any of the fragrance that was in my top five that you agree with me, disagree with me, also put it in the comment. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.